Good day, everybody. This is Lone Eagle, 112358. Thank you very much for joining me today. I appreciate it so very, very much. I really do. Zealandia. And the possibility of time travel. I get a lot of viewers, you know, throughout my videos saying, Lone Eagle, you know, are we seeing these islands as proof of time travel? And I never really thought about it because I always thought as time, time travel is silly because time is man-made but whatever I am ignorant alright so oh pulled up the wrong one my bad so on December 29th I made this video uh, it's called unknown continent and Zealandia and a viewer had shot me a message saying hey have you heard of Zealandia before because prior to this I put out a video um, it was called 1984 yeah, it's right here um, and in that video I'm like I've never heard of Oceania Eurasia and East Asia I thought these were fictitious names I thought this was just in the book but apparently they are real now and the viewer is like hey have you heard of Zealandia I was like no I looked it up and blew my mind it's a continent never heard of it before so made this video on the 29th put it away didn't think anything of it and then four or five days ago I got some subscribers going hey Lone Eagle remember to talk about Zealandia yeah well it's just hitting the news now I'm like really like just now didn't they already talk about this isn't this a discovered thing but apparently they're just coming to realization that New Zealand is actually the result of Zealandia just from you know the ocean levels rising okay so here's a quick video on Zealandia and its history about 26 million years ago Zealandia the ancient continent of New Zealand stretched and thinned by tectonic forces had almost disappeared beneath the waves what saved it from disappearing altogether was the renewed vigor of the collision between the Australian plate and the Pacific plate which pushed the land out of the sea again. As the Pacific Plate was forced under the north of New Zealand, a belt of volcanoes erupted in what is now Northland, moving southwards over millions of years towards the Coromandel. Off the west coast of Auckland, the huge Waitakere volcano rose from the sea floor, its summit emerging out of the waves. Further south, the South Island was a subdued landscape, largely free of mountains and volcanoes. But this too was about to change dramatically. 13 million years ago, a hot spot plume broke through the Pacific Plate, erupting where Dunedin is now. The first eruption centered on Port Chalmers, forming the lofty hills around Dunedin and Otago Peninsula. Then a string of smaller volcanoes emerged as far inland as Ranfurly. What you're seeing here is the south of New Zealand. Ten million years ago, it was Christchurch's turn. A hotspot created three massive overlapping shield volcanoes, Banks Peninsula. Four million years later, the action had shifted further east, as yet another hotspot brought the Chatham Islands up out of the sea in a series of blasts over four million years. Meanwhile, in the North Island, volcanic activity had been moving south and east as the Pacific Plate began to dip down more steeply under the Australian. One result was the creation of the most active and violent volcano in New Zealand, Taupo. And further north, where it all began, 250,000 years ago, Auckland began to blow again, driven by another hotspot under the Australian plate. So that video was brought to you by Auckland Museum, Zealandia, the ancient continent of Z New Zealand. Auckland Museum, thank you very much. So that's a crash course on how that area was formed together, but I mean, isn't that how the whole world was formed? Plates colliding with each other, volcanic eruptions. <clears throat> but anyway, when I was covering this story here,
weren't that many articles on Zealandia. There was enough to get enough information, but now it's just because the information just came out five days ago or something like that. Of course, there's a bunch of new videos, but look at them all. Everybody's talking about it. That's great. So hold on here. Z Whoops, nope, that's not the one. So now I want to talk about this right here. Okay, so you see these two, I'm looking on the map over here on the left side, you see these two long lines right here? Let me show you what those are. Right here. The blue stuff. Remember the blue stuff to talk about? There they are. One, two. Okay. Then you see this right here. Just compare them. Compare the blue area to what's being shown here. Okay. So what's happening is is that in this world that we joined, okay, there's two worlds. Our world, their world, and there's another world. From what I've seen, there are three or more dimensions, minimum. Our world, their world, and the other world I call the people with the green light on top and the red light on bottom. <laughs> okay, our world, their world, and the people with the green light on top and the red light on bottom. Those are the three worlds that I know of minimum exist. So, what we're seeing, I'm just going to talk about the our two worlds only. Um, our world has seemed to have joined their world. <clears throat> and all the continents been moved around, so now we've been shown this new Earth with continents in different spots. Okay, that's fine. Um, they don't have a North Pole anymore. It melted. <clears throat> so we've come to their world, and I'm saying that these islands are new. I'm pulling up all these islands, and I'm like, these are brand new. I've never seen these before. Uh, there's a pattern I'm seeing. I'm seeing uh, the sea mounts about to touch the ground, uh, the surface. Then they touch, and then I see islands forming out of these blue. Like, see, you see the blue right there. Um, the, the atolls showing up after the islands or after the blue, and there's just a sequence of them. Okay, and I'm like, wow, these are new islands popping out of the ocean. But I'm getting remarks from people who are on this earth that we've come to and going, no, those are sinking. I'm like, what? Perfect example right here, the Maldives. The Maldives are sinking. I'm like, what? So let's look at it here. Are the, I googled this, are the Pacific Islands, are the islands in the Pacific sinking? And this is what it came up with, you know. Um, five Pacific Islands lost to rising sea levels <clears throat> as climate change hits, you know. and articles after articles after articles in this earth of the island sinking so it's no wonder I'm getting so much resistance here's a great example Tavulu Island sorry uh, what is it? Tuv Tuvalu Tuvalu this is going to be the first island known in history to be eroded away due to climate change right here but to me I've marked this island as new because it's showing all the char characteristics of being a brand new island it's still a little bit underwater you can see it when I see things underwater that's for me that's a characteristic of being a new island but <clears throat> to most including myself a close second is a glitch okay so now we've got Zealandia being found out and from my perspective I'm seeing these islands as new from our reality these islands are brand new popping out of the ocean but for the people that we've joined on their earth these islands are sinking okay great let's, let's cut it off there remember that part <clears throat> Wow. Now there's a new continent besides Zealandia. All right. I'm going to let this guy talk about it because I didn't know about it until he started talking about it. So this is the Kev Baker show on his video called Wow, New Continents Discovered Zealandia and Gond 
Gondawa. That's the that's the name of the new continent. Look, I'm gonna zoom in right here. Gondawa. Okay, I'm gonna talk more about this right after he's speaking here. So let's listen in on this. Lost continent discovered under Mauritius in the Indian Ocean. So this Gondawa and Zealandia now are on the map. Move over Atlantis, a real lost continent has been discovered by a team of geologists led by Lewis D. Ashwell from the University of Witwatersand in South Africa. The scientists who have named it Mauritia believe that the landmass was once part of Gondwana. The supercontinent included most of the landmasses in the modern day southern hemisphere and the Arabian Peninsula and the Indian subcontinent that are now part of the Nor Nor Northern Hemisphere. They th further hypothesize that when the supercontinent broke up about 180 million years ago, as, as opposed to the 100 we read a moment ago, Mauritia split into fragments and drifted across the Indian Ocean. The volcanic eruption that gave birth to Mauritius 9 million years ago blanketed one of the pieces burying it three to six miles below the surface of the beautiful island. Now then, it's it top. All right, he talks about other stuff that I don't want to get into right now, but this is the area he's talking about. I'm going to blow this area up. So again, that was <clears throat> brought to us by the Kev Baker Show. So this is Gondawa, okay? What do I say about the light blue area? What do I say about it? Now, of course, the people who live on this or, or are in this reality are going to be like, yes, Lone Eagle, it's sunk. Of course, you're going to see that. It's called a Gaiat. I think that's what it's called, a Gaiat. Someone uh, brought it up in another video because I asked what this Gaiat, Goyat. Is it Gaiat? No, T. Oh, man. seamount with a flat top all right I'm telling you I'm sitting here going this is gonna be brand new look at that light blue okay look watch Do you see the tracing the lining of that see it doesn't go out of it it's perfect with it ah stupid house you guys can see this right see that it stays right within that flat bed see it I'm gonna get. I haven't marked this area. I haven't searched this area, but I'm guaranteeing you this blue stuff was not there a long time ago. Like I'd say a month ago. I can't guarantee it because I've been here. But I'm. That's my. According to my videos, this is what happens. I'm, I'm gonna guarantee you another thing. This is. This blue is gonna spread, all around this ridge, and we're gonna see it. You know, I'm not worried about that. But this is. Gone out. This is the second continent that's discovered. Because this is Mauritius, or Mauritius, right? I'm gonna have to say this is a new island because I remember Madagascar. Madagascar is looking all weird. I think Madagascar is gonna become part of this of Gondwa. Because look, these islands are gonna connect. I got like they're all connecting. This is one. I'm, I'm, that's my theory, my prediction. But look. See all this light blue? It's all starting to pop up everywhere. All along where the, you know, where that continent is. Look at this. Boom. Beautiful blue. Yes, I know that these are coral reefs and old, like, it's, it's I understand the history here. I'm just not agreeing with the timelines and everything. But anyway, that's our new continent, ladies and gentlemen. Gondawa and Zealandia. Both can be traced, both can be predicted. You can trace them out at home. I'm gonna trace them. But so when I say time travel, I got a lot of comments from people saying, Lone Eagle, we could be time traveling, that's what you're seeing, and that makes a lot of sense, you know, like because <clears throat> we're starting to see these these two long strips are starting to show themselves now, which yeah, that makes sense. We're going back in time. This is before it flooded, you know. And 
I don't really know how to talk about time travel because I don't really, I've never really studied it and I don't get it except for bending space and I see, you see those diagrams and I get it like a little bit but <clears throat> I've always thought of time being man-made so how could we change something that we invented in our brain but anyway like I said don't know anything about that sp stuff so I'm not going to get into it except to say that time travel does seem a little correct here because every time a new island pops up that's their past and it's our future so here's the other thing it's their past and our future these islands are sinking to them but they're rising for us isn't that insane do you think that was done purposely wow I mean you'd have to agree with my theory first that these islands are rising but just from my perspective these you know our world that joined their world Zealandia is slowly sinking well, for us, it's slowly rising. Isn't that amazing? And I'll say the same thing for the Maldives. You know, they're, they're coming out of the ocean, but to them, they're right. Oh, my God. The North Pole melted here. Okay? Now, I used to say there's land mass under the North Pole, but, you know, I'm ignorant. I can't agree that it, there probably wasn't any, but all the snow that we used to see up there is gone. <clears throat> so... But I mean, wouldn't all this already be flooded if all of this is melted by now? So it's not there anymore, so shouldn't all this be flooded? Anyway, whatever. I just wanted to cover that. The two new continents. Well, this one's pretty new to me. Meridian, Mauritius. These islands, I'm going to say, are brand new. Uh, what's this one called? Reunion. Uh, Reunion and Mauritius. It makes a lot of sense now. This area is starting to make a lot of sense. We're gonna be covering a lot because there's gonna be. I'm gonna, I'm gonna identify every little thing in this spot as much as I can, and we're gonna be here a lot. Here in Zoolandia, I've got to break the barrier and new, make a new perimeter for me to search in. Anyway, <coughs> don't forget to check out my last video here, Unknown Continent in Zoolandia. I covered this on December 26th or 29th. Check that out. Um, everybody else is making videos on it. Um, really happy about this word is spreading I have a feeling that a lot of people are going to be covering Google Earth Mandela now so hook me up with links if you do I want to talk to these people you know everybody's covering it this is the future this is their past and our future isn't that crazy it's so funny to see um, there's articles on uh, island sinking in this timeline but they're raising rising for us so if they're rising for us then maybe time travel is the answer so let me know what you guys think on that theory or add to the theory please um, we're all lost here and we could just we need to start brainstorming now this is huge I'm telling you this is gonna get bigger and deeper and there's gonna be more info and you're just gonna see a lot more videos on it anyway I'm sure I left out plenty of stuff you know, I, this is, like I said, there's too many topics for this. Like, there's just too much surrounding Zealandia, time travel, islands rising and sinking. I think that's what I'm going to call it. And now, Gonwanda. Is that what it's called? The new, the new, new with Mauritius. Am I saying that word right again? I know a viewer corrected me on it, but it's so new to me, and I'm sorry about Mauritius. Yeah, I'm going to say it's Mauritius. What do you guys think? Gondawa. 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 <laughs> Alright guys, have an amazing day. I'm going to make another video on this because I know I forgot something. Then I'm going to press stop. I'm going to be like, oh, no, I forgot that. So I'll just make a part two. I'm not going to... I'm going to stop making videos over and over. Because what I do is when I forget to say something, I just redo the whole video. And I, 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 you know, I'm not doing it anymore. I'll just make part two. Anyway. Love yourself, love your neighbor. Thank you very much for joining me. I appreciate it so very much. And hit me up with feedback, large feedback. Are we time traveling? Islands rising, sinking, Gondola, and Zealandia. I love you, love your neighbor, love yourself. Lone Eagle, 112358. Peace.